All right, I'm here with Monmouth University head coach, Coach Kevin Callahan. Coach Callahan, really appreciate you taking the time today. Can you just give me some of your observations from today's scrimmage? Well, I thought there was a lot of good plays on both sides of the ball. There's a lot of balance to what we did. You know, as in any inter squad scrimmage, there's always things that you look at and, and feel that you can do a better job of. And then there's things that you look at and say, hey, that we're doing a pretty good job there. But when you, you play against yourself or practice against yourself, you're always trying different combinations and, and different people in different spots and trying to create your depth. And I think that's what today was all about, seeing how the pieces are all going to fit together as we get into game week and start preparing for the opener. Coach, talk to me about your quarterback, Tony Musket. He's a veteran here in this program now, started since he was a freshman. What have you seen from him in this camp and then obviously today in this scrimmage well, as well? You know, I, I think, you know, I think throughout the camp, he's really picked up where he left off, left off at the end of last season. You know, he, he's got a great grasp of our offense. He's uh, physically very talented in both his ability to throw the ball and, and what he can create with his legs and, and running around. Um, and he's got a very good command of what we're asking him to do from a concept and scheme standpoint on offense. You know, so those are all uh, very, very positive things. The thing that strikes me the most about him is how his leadership ability is, is emerging and he's really taking control of the group on the field. And, and that's something that we had talked about in the offseason. And I think that's something he's doing a really good job of. Coach, the offensive line looks to be a strong point of this team. Justin Zub is returning after an injury last year at right tackle. Can you just talk about how important that group is as a whole? Well, you know, I think that, you know, um, any football team is only as good as their lines on both sides of the ball. And, you know, we're fortunate that we have a lot of returning guys on the offensive line, guys who have played a lot of football for us. They may not have been starters last year. You know, Zuba sat out last year because of an injury, and, you know, the other guys graduated. But the guys that we have go, that we're going to go with now all have game experience. They've all been on the field for us, and they're all guys that I think are going to contribute to us having an explosive offense. They seem to have been uh, gelling very well together. They're getting used to playing with one another. And, and that's really what preseason is for, to get all those guys working in, in synchronization with each other. Secondary looks very strong as well. Tyrese Wright, Eddie Morales, Joe Thomas Camarza transferred from Temple. We saw Phil Rawlings with an interception today. Can you talk about that group and what well, you see in the secondary? Yeah, that, that is a very experienced group in the defensive secondary and it's probably our most it is our most experienced unit on the defensive side of the ball. Again, they're all veteran players. They communicate extremely well. Uh, they're talent, a talented group, and you know they really make it tough to move the ball on, You know, especially through the air. Coach Callahan, really appreciate your time today. Good luck this season. All right, I'm here with Monmouth QB, Tony Musket. Tony, really appreciate you taking the time today after the scrimmage. Can you just give me some of your observations from an offensive perspective on how y'all performed in the scrimmage today? Yeah, I, mean, I think as an offense, we did, we did okay. Um, we didn't necessarily come out how we wanted to, but I thought throughout the scrimmage we were able to pick it up a little bit. We found the end zone a couple times. And uh, biggest thing, you know, we got some younger guys reps today, so having those older guys back going into the game week, uh, I think it's going to be huge for us. And then we're ready to go come out of the first game. Great throw in the red zone on that fade route. Can you just talk me through that throw right there, um, oh, yeah. what you saw in that? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, they were just playing essentially cover one, so one high safety, and then man across the rest of the board. So uh, I just checked my protection, and then I, I took my one-on-one -on -one route to Asante Kearney. He made a great play, went up and got it. Um, those are the kind of plays that you're going to see a lot from us this year. Uh, I like to give my receivers a chance if they're going to play man coverage, and uh, you saw it work for us today. You're a veteran in this program now. Can you just talk about what this year has been like, how comfortable you are as a leader on this team, and then your role as a veteran or quarterback? Yeah, um, leadership is definitely one of the areas where I want to step up coming into this, this season. Uh, I feel like I've done a pretty good job. I think the guys have responded really well. And, yeah, it's just led to me being a lot more comfortable. Um, all the checks we have in now, all the all the things I can do with the line of scrimmage with audibles and changing plays. Um, it's been awesome to play in, and I love playing with these guys, and I love leading them too. You guys are really getting down to it. Almost time for that game against UNH season opener. Can you just talk about what some of the things that you'll be focusing on as you head into that game preparation-wise? Um, really just execution. Uh, Coach Gallo was talking to me, he says, he says that a lot of times people think that first game of the season, you don't necessarily win it, but it's the team that loses the game. And uh, that's, not how, that's not how we approach it. Uh, we come into it thinking that we want to go in and take something that we feel like we deserve. Um, we've been putting in a lot of hard work throughout the winter, into the spring, and now into the summer. Uh, we got, I think, 11 more days, 12 more days until we head up there. So uh, we're going to give it all we got and then be ready to go. Tony, thank you very much for your time, man. Good luck this season. I'm here with Mama DB, Eddie Morales. Eddie, really appreciate you taking the time today. Can you just talk about your observations, how the defense played today in the scrimmage? Yeah, I thought we played lights out, you know, from the back end and the defensive backs, you know, to the front, you know, where it all starts in the D-line. I thought, you know, the D-line really came today and showed what they were about. Um, you know, all, all our starters, even the guys who subbed in, you know, stopped the run. 
Um, you know, they, great pass rush today, made the quarterback scramble, made him throw on the run. Um, you know, and our linebackers stopping the run also, you know, uh, doing what they have to do with the D-line and the DB is in the back end, you know, making plays, making picks, putting the ball on the ground and making tackles. I thought it was a complete showing today from our defense. We saw you display your versatility a lot of time covering the slot, but also went outside, covered the boundary. Can you just talk about that part of your game, how much emphasis you put on being a versatile DB? Right, I, I think that's important, you know, especially in today's game. You know, I take that very, very, um, you know, personally to me, I think versatility, you know, is very important, especially in defensive back. Um, as you said, I was able to play a little nickel inside. You know, I'm, I'm also able to play outside and as well in the box a little bit too, making tackles. So I think that's important, especially you know in the game today with defensive backs and the receivers we have to guard. And um, you know, I think I was able to show that today. And you know, and a lot of people in our defensive background uh, too can also play both sides. So I think it's I think it was a good showing. Adding to the versatility, you were an All CAA preseason punt returner selection for the All Conference team. Can you just talk about your mindset when the football is in your hands? Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, that's what that's what a lot of us, you know, wanted growing up. You know, what I mean, ever since we started playing, we were youth football. Um, you know, especially as skilled players, receivers, DBs. You know, we like the balls in our hands. You know, we like to make the plays, and and you know that doesn't stop. Now that I'm college, I'm, I'm grateful and, and thankful to be able to play punt returner, make those plays. Um, but at the end of the day, it's you know the guys up front, you know, who, who do the blocking and make the holes and make the lanes for me to run through. So you know, it's a it's a collective effort, it's a group effort, and uh, you know we're excited to get that started this season. Eddie, thank you for the time and good luck this season. Thank man. you, I appreciate it.